Hey, this is Noah, and over the summer, you may have seen some new buildings pop up. We went inside to see what was going on. How are you adjusting to your new life in the parts? I like it. It's kind of nice being out here with just the English people. We're sort of isolated. Uh, I like it a lot out here. Everything is fresh. We have brand new furniture, and it's, I don't know, it's fantastic. And it's one modular unit, which is one big classroom that houses nine classrooms plus multiple restrooms, teacher workroom, office space. So, so it's a it's a blessing and curse to actually have. Um, as you know, we've been overcrowded for about three years now, meaning that we have more students on campus than our capacity says we should have, which has caused a lot of problems as far as uh, spaces for teachers to go and work places for kids to go, cafeterias overcrowded, I mean everything, it's just, it's just a, a problem that continues to exist. So Those are nice, they have uh, brand new spinny chairs that adjust, uh, which are comfortable. The bathrooms are really nice. In the main school, it's really easy to get from place to place, so like if you need to go to the main office or go to the nurse or those things are much easier if you're in the main school and when you're out here it's kind of harder. If it's raining then you have to walk outside through the rain. But and projections for the next five to ten years continue to show um, Abermore High School student population growing. Hence one of the reasons you're seeing the school board, board of supervisors, and a lot of groups talking about what are the next steps because we can't continue to function like this. How does it feel to be forced from your classroom in the school and have to move into the pods? <laughs> forced. Uh, so we were forced. We were asked to volunteer and I wanted to volunteer and Noah you took my class last year so you know how big my classroom was. I was very excited to come on out here and be in a much larger space. Um, well, my old room was actually being taken over by a different program, so it was kind of a, you know, I had to find some place else to go. But we were right across from the cafeteria, it was kind of noisy, and we thought this would be sort of an interesting experiment. Okay. What is the worst thing that you have to deal with in the pods? The worst thing I have to deal with in the pods? Uh, it's feeling a little alienated from the whole building, which can be good and bad because we don't, you know, there's not lots of kids wandering the halls out here or anything, which is, you know, not a big deal, but I don't know, sometimes we miss seeing people and things like that. Catch us up on gossip. But the lights do flicker occasionally, off and on, so it can be distracting and loud, but overall I like it. 